everyone, this is Resonic the Junk Gamer, and welcome back to Katawa Shoujo! This is gonna be the last part for Shizune's X1, so after this, back to the normal stuff. Alrighty then. Yes. The next day, I wake up feeling a little lightheaded. It's almost noon already. Sleeping is late and late. Sleeping late is fine, since it's Sunday and there's no classes. Not just a Saturday, though, but the festival as well. From my window, I can already see some people at the sober booth, flinging noodles onto plates for people with a craving for low-quality food. I throw back a handful of my morning meds and wonder how to spend the day. There will be a few exams in the coming week, but I don't consider those as ominous as others, so I'm not as worried about them as I probably should be. No urgent obligations regarding edu education, I should be free to spend the day at the festival as I like. Finishing my morning routine, I exit to the hallway, intending to go out and find something to eat. Passing by his door, I decided to see what Kenji's up to today out of impulse. I'm curious if there's any plans since everyone is doing something. Then again, I can picture him build a soundproof shelter in his room. Or oh, possibly something like a fort, complete with no guns allowed signs. And with the gold scribbled out and body crudely sprawled, uh, sprawled underneath it. Like on his door, with this luckily devoid of any kind of design, I hear again the unsettling clicking at least of 10 locks being pulled back. The door opens a crack. Who is it? You're yeah, supposed to ask that before you open the door. It's you! Damn, it's Ollie! It's not really that Ollie. What is it, man? Nothing. Was just gonna ask what you're going to do today. Half the school is out there already. Out there? Oh, out where? Why? What? 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 Is today special? Why are they there? Who are they? I can hear them. It's loud. Don't tell me. Has the invasion begun? He suddenly looks more alarmed. What day is it, man? Yeah, I guess you can't see the big wooden boots outside and people selling stuff. What the hell are you talking about? I have Christmas clothes all the time, the foot, the spike plus. Uh, it's the festival. You know that, right? You walked on the border? Oh shit, that's the day? Ah, damn. Ah, damn. Damn it! Can't believe I forgot! I don't have my fort element finished yet. This is bad. This is gonna be a very bad day. It's good you told me this, man. This is gonna be a very bad day. <sighs> Why? Oh, man. They're going to be everywhere. The people. Outside my house. Socializing. Kenji was his temples, nervously looking very ill. It's gonna be loud as hell. <laughs> Damn. And I was going to go out today. But now it's ruined. Everything is ruined. <laughs> this is awful! This sucks! This sucks! What the hell? This really sucks! I can't go anywhere now! There's nowhere to run! Kenji seems nervous. He can't even say he's majorly freaking out. I can't believe this! So that's what today was! Damn! I couldn't even prepare for it! I couldn't even brace myself! And now it's here, and I can't do anything! You should have told me this earlier, dude! I mean... At least I know, but I could have been known earlier. Imagine what I could have accomplished. Sorry, I thought you knew. So I guess you're not going to do anything today? The weather's even good. Yesterday was really windy, so I thought today would be cold. It's not. So, so there's no reason to just sit inside, yeah? You should check the festival out. Can you groan to cover his face with his hands? No, no! I can't do it! But leave me alive out there! I know it! This has to... This has to be a joke. But he said that with such a straight face. Relatively straight. What are you going to do? We should hang out in here! You can help me build my fort! We might still make it if we walk together. Yes, yes! I'm going to hang out with the student council since I lost the bet. I realize that we didn't agree on when and where, I'll just wait for them rather than risk us missing each other in the chaos outside. 
We must be busy running around and organizing things anyway. We didn't exchange numbers, have we? It's funny. I would assume the price of for losing to Shizune in her stupid game to be a lot more severe. This is just a pretense of spending time with her. In that case, I guess she just wants me to have fun. Even though she can't just come out and make her intentions clear, they may be good intentions after all, and I think I'm starting to like her more. I could skip going, but it'd be a waste. And I want to go, too. I mean, you know. Today does seem pretty exciting. If anything, it'll be interesting. The student council? What? That's still around? Isn't it like two dudes? They're both girls. Squee! Really? Are they cute? Damn, no, wait. Are they cute? No, it doesn't matter. I heard the student council president is insane that whoever talk never talks and only gives orders through flunkies. I mean, yeah. Shit, they're in the same in every school. Sounds like a cold hearted bitch. Bitches everywhere! If it's two girls, they outnumber you two against one! That is a dangerous situation, dude. Who knows what can happen? Damn, <laughs> the city council is just two women! But they hold so much power! They must be stopped! I can see them plotting ways to push the feminist agenda! I can't trust an administration like this! This is not cool. Not cool! Damn! Shit! Damn! <laughs> He fingers his scarf nervously, faster and faster like he is trying to start a fire, then slowly begins to calm him down once the panic attack finishes when he gets caught. I'm going to have to find some place to hide then. A safe haven! If I knock the lights out of myself so I don't have to experience anything this horrible day! I have the perfect thing for that! I must prepare now! Don't go to that festival! Okay. Later, dude. The door slowly closes with a low creak, and I don't know how to feel about what Kenji just said. A part of what I like to do is just do a Misha. Deciding it's best to be extra prepared, I duck back into my room to stock my wallet with money. And today's for sponsor is Fridge Wallet. I wonder if they have that game where you try to catch goldfish on a paper net. That sounds hard. It seems way easier than they make it look. Then again, if I were to catch a goldfish, I'd have no real reason to keep it. What am I going to do with my fish in a, my tiny room? Cook it? <laughs> I could get the Shizune or Misha, but that might be overstepping my bounds. It's a real problem. Both of them are cute, but I don't think I have a chance with either of them. Regardless, I'm all over the thought of doing it. I imagine how they might react if I were to give them a gift tonight, like a fish or a doll. Misha would probably laugh like she always does. Shizune might slap it out of my hand. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea after all. Okay, I think I'm set. Wallet prepped, and let's go. A good while later, I decide that this could be another psych out test devised by Shizune. Even if it isn't, it's starting to get kinda late. I just have to just go out and search for them, even though I don't know where I could look. They might be really hard to find today. They could also be extremely busy. First about side, I almost bumped into Shizune. Oh, hello! Hi Shizune, where's Misha? I tried to sign as best as I could, but really I'm just making stuff up. I gotta ask Misha to teach me some of this. Here! Hehe! <laughs> Misha pops up from behind Shizune, grinning wildly. We just came out to make sure you're coming along with us to the festival! Don't venge on your promise! Promise? I don't think I promised anything. I lost a bet. Stop trying to get out of it! Come on, Hee-chan! It'll be fun! You need this anyway, or you'll become a no-good person! You don't want to become one of those people who just stays in their dorm room all day being paranoid, do you? Kenji! <laughs> Boys are staring over his shoulder at the door to Kenji's room right across from mine. No, not really. I hope you didn't hear that. I think Misha wants the opposite. No, of course not. I was just playing around a little. I was right about to leave anyway. You two didn't have to come here. Really? 
Chinchan was bullied, you would try to get out of it somehow. We need you, He Chan. Huh? I think my heart just skipped a beat. I don't have the aim to knock the dolls off the pedestals in that one game, and she Chan refuses to throw things. Wait, why? Oh. Kizuna stares at me, immediately noticing my disappointment. She uncrosses her arms and adjusts her glasses. What do you think we meant? I refuse to throw anything! Why, Shi-chan? That is weird. Well, anyway, He-chan, you've thrown a ball before, right? Right? So you have to come with us! Come on, it'll be fun! I'm amazed by the logic. I don't know if they're joking or if they're not. Huh. I feel offended if I didn't know you guys were joking. You're joking, right? It is what it is, He-chan. It is what it sees, what it sees, what it is, what it is. Well, that's what you're showing. Come on, let's go. The death band is setting up outside your house, your window. Misha grabs me by the hand and tries to pull me out of the door, but it's clear that she isn't trying at all. All right, all right. Kizuna looks at both of us, blushing silently and fiddling with her glasses impatiently. I'm not used to this kind of casual contact, but I have nothing against it. How can I object? It's still light outside. The sun is getting ready to set behind the trees. There's like half the school is out here. I can even see some black dual team members standing off to the side, hurting themselves with a punch. Ooh, the punch sounds good right now. They're about to empty the entire bowl to the dismay of a girl walking into the stall. There are some fortune tellers chatting idly with their friends, while others have already gotten started signing by slinging horoscopes at anyone who walks in range. I think that kind of tactic is a little too aggressive, but it shows that they're into it. It's refreshing to see, but I don't know if I'll be able to get used to it. Well, we should get something to eat! Hungry he chan Yeah, I was just about to come get something. Come think of it, I haven't eaten all day. I don't really want to eat fried noodles. That's okay. There are other fried foods. Are there any foods that aren't fried? Candy! Junk food is the essence of celebration! <laughs> Come on! I, I mean, Shi Chan will treat you to one thing. What? Just one. Only so you can build up energy for your throwing off! Oh, come on! Ah, but it doesn't look like all the boots are done setting up yet. So you might not be able to get what you want. Wait, she chan want something? She looks around, surprised by the number of stalls. It's unbelievable. This festival seems larger than the ones you might see in actual town. Gee, how big is this? Despite what Misha said, it seems like half the school is already celebrating. He is humming with the excited chattering of at least half the student body. I can smell food cooking, and it's only making me hungrier by the second. Come on, He-chan! The food's already disappearing fast! If you want takoyaki, we need to move now! I can go for some takoyaki! Come on, let's eat that! Okay. Alright, I haven't had takoyaki in forever. I'm game. I'm also game. Then I take off before Misha can even sign it back to her, briskly walking towards the takoyaki stand as Misha and I try to catch up. Move, 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 move! Misha laughs as she skips towards Shizune, best for three orders of takoyaki by holding up three fingers. How much is the takoyaki? I never noticed it before, but for someone who's obsessed with high class tea, it's a little weird that Shizune is also so into fast food. Fast food is good, dude! I take the plate of takoyaki she hands me and wonders if I should dig in. It looks extremely hot. You see the smoke coming off of it and the oil bubbling on the surface. Ooh, don't touch that yet, buddy. Shizune and Misha both look at me, as if waiting for me to eat before they can begin. I can't put it down. So I spare one of the tiny plastic forks of John Seeds sticking up from the corner of the plate. I'll spare up one. Oh, before I can even fill my mouth, Shizune and Misha begin eating eagerly. 
Zunite taking quick but delicate bites out of the takoyaki, while Misha eats with relish like a child. I guess at the end of the day, both of them are just kids like any other students, you know. This is kind of nice. I don't think that I had a chance like this in a long time to just hang out with other people and enjoy their company. <sighs> Even before coming here, I've been going through a very busy year. So busy, I hadn't realized what I've been missing until now. Here, I feel at peace. It's a soothing atmosphere. I didn't know these kinds of festivals still existed. Eh? Ichan, are you going to eat your food? No, I'm going to eat it. Um, I hope you're not chickening out because it's too hot. That's not it. Let me reminisce in peace. Even the teasing is beginning to become endearing. I eat quickly before my food can get cold. Seeing that the dimly lit paper lanterns glowing warmly against the sunset makes for a beautiful sight. Before I can finish my last bit of takoyaki, Shizune sits in front of me, standing perfectly straight with her arms rigid behind her back. Yes? I can see she's trying her best to look as serious as possible, but even she can't hide a good mood, as there's a slight smile on her face. <laughs> Come on, Ichan! Let's go play some games! Are they even done setting up? But it doesn't matter! It doesn't matter! Come on, Heejan, before it gets too crowded! Fair enough. Heejan puts her hand on my shoulder and laughs very loudly. Come on, come on! The prizes look like they're really great this year! Really, really! Wouldn't you like to win some prizes for two cute girls like us? Come on! Heejan flashes her best cute look, which is admittedly pretty cute. I look at Shizune expecting her to do the same, but she just looks at me like I'm insane. <laughs> Misha, stop doing that! Wait, I'm Misha! Hee-chan, hurry up! You've been holding that piece of takoyaki for like a thousand years! <laughs> I like to savor everything I eat, even this. Without warning, Zunay picks up the Hakuyak from my hand and pops it into her mouth with a smile! I knew it! It happened so fast that there was no way I could have stopped her. My Takoyaki! No! So I can even fully process what just happened. This shivers into laughter and Zunay smiles at me. Probably the closest I've ever seen her come to laughing. My Takoyaki! Well, that takes care of that! <laughs> Zuna grabs my right hand, and Misha grabs my left. You're coming with us! There's a lot to do tonight! You should try harder to enjoy it! Sit there until I have. <laughs> Running through an already sensible crowd of people, we play game after game. From ring toss to whack a mole to games I've never heard of. We rarely win, but it's fun nonetheless. Hey, do they have that goldfish scooping game here? Of course! I didn't know you liked that game, Hee-chan! Well, I've always wanted to try it. It doesn't seem too hard. Are you sure about that, Hee-chan? <laughs> okay, okay, we'll see! It's great to be around here somewhere! But where are you going to keep your fish? Do you have a bowl for it? Well, no, I just wanted to try it. Maybe he'll eat it! <laughs> Alright, Hee-chan, if we win any fish, we'll give them to you! Wait, what? Oh, really? Another game? Fine, then. Shizunai pushes me excitedly towards the booth, trying to hide the enthusiasm in her eyes. She says she's doing the cat face is hard. Fortunately, the two of them failed to catch a single fish, but I don't do any better. Get up or left as, as immediately afterwards they start tugging me towards a particularly large, colorful stall that I helped build. Ooh, look at all the hard work. I remember this one. It was a real pain in the ass to make. The booth runner, an average looking guy with dyed brown hair, snaps to attention when he sees us walking over. 
I noticed two things. First, it's one of those games where you throw a ball at a pyramid of of hotcake bottles and try to knock over as many as possible. Four balls for 50 yen. That's actually pretty good. Second, there are instructions on how to play in Grail. I just want to say something and look to see if Shizune and Misha see it out as well. Either they don't, or they don't find a change at all. I think it's kind of bad. Hey, it's good to see you, Hamamichi. Hakamichi. Thank you so much for your help with this booth. Having fun? Shizune glances towards Misha, who signs everything to her in a flash, then beams at the operator. <laughs> it was nothing. Nothing at all, really. Yes, this is great. I think the best festival we put together yet. Shiraki, we like to play this. That's okay, right? Of course, it would be really great if you'd give us your cute, hardworking student council representative the prize for all the hours we put to make all of this possible. <laughs> no. If anything, Shiraki has balls. Hey, I built the stall. It was a backbreaking job too. I wasted two hours of my life. I think I deserve at least a free round. And me! Me too! Ah! With some hesitation, he eventually gives in and hands us each four balls with a shrug. Get! Let's win this! Oh, a second later, Shizune and Misha stop there so far me! What gives? Don't tell me that after making such a big deal out of it, you two aren't e going to even play. Not after the way we ganged up on Shiraki. <laughs> yeah. You stay out of this, please. Shizune turns to me and begins waving her hands dismissively. Misha appears torn between translating for her and consoling the booth operator. <laughs> Shin-chan with your sense of chivalry. Besides, I, Shin-chan, have a policy against throwing balls! Ah, uh, sorry, he chan I don't know if my aim's that good either. You must be pretty good at these things, though, right? Right? It shouldn't be a problem for you! This looks simple enough. The balls aren't even that far away. The only challenge is that these are wiffle balls. Oh, shoot. I thought one of the balls hard and it bounces off unceremoniously. What the hell? Ah, uh, yeah, it's not as easy as it looks. The water inside is the bottle. Trade secret. That's not very fair. That, this must be why it's four balls for 50 yen. How devious. Come on, Hee-chan. You should knock them down. You have 11 more chances. Go! Maybe you should do it. Shizune, do you want to try? Shizune empathetically shakes her head from side to side. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I laugh. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Running up, I throw another ball at the pyramid of bottles and manage to get them to budge just slightly. Both Shizune and Misha are casting longer glances towards a doll shaped like a cat. So that's why they want me. All in all, they aren't really aren't all that different. Sometimes I wonder if Shizune would sound like Misha if she could talk. <laughs> no way in heck. No, they're not that alike. I throw another ball, realizing that it's actually quite simple. I can hit two balls in the bottom row at the same time. It's an easy win. Already, a small crowd is beginning to gather, so the pressure is really on me. Nine more shots. I can do this. Running up like a baseball pitcher, I throw as hard as I can, and the bottles came tumbling down. Ah! Triumphantly, I claim my gullish cat doll prize, and Misha laughs uproariously as if we, she was the one that bought, won it. Then I stares at me with the usual blank expression. It's clear she wants the doll too. Hee-chan, congratulations! What are you going to do with that doll? There is no right answer. I have to tread carefully. I do not know. Well, I'll take it if you don't want it. Unless you want to keep it for yourself, Hee Chan. I don't even know you like dolls. How delicate! I don't. I have no use for this. Only because I can. Can I have it then? 
These eyes are drilling into my soul. This is a decision I don't want to make. I turn back to the booth. Hey, you have more than one of the stall? Actually, yeah, just one more. Okay, set everything up again. I'm gonna try for that one as well. I still have a choice. Come on. As soon as the game is set up again, I throw as hard as I can again, but meh. <laughs> Time to win another one? Take it the easy way at T Chan? If that's the if it's that easy, you could try it. No thanks. Say he chan, can you at least put the d down while you're throwing the balls? No. There's only one more left. You had better get it. If you fail, I'll kill you. What a clever way to duck out of giving me the doll, though. And by me, I mean me. <laughs> Just kidding. I can see Misha doesn't mean didn't mean any harm from it. And she really seems to enjoy her joke. Smiling at it. So she looked a little depressed afterwards. I decided to handle the doll. At least while I'm trying to win the other one. It's kind of hard to aim holding a giant cat. Thank you, He-Chan. She-Chan seems really happy, He-Chan, but you're going to win one for me too, right? Gonna try. This is what I'm trying to do, isn't it? I throw again, but my aim is way off this time. My arm feels kind of heavy, as if blood isn't blowing into it properly. Screw myself mentally. Thinking that it's pathetic I could get tired from something like that. Then I realized that maybe it's because of my heart. If it is, then I don't know what to think. Especially that even something as small as this is enough to make me realize my own mortality. I guess there won't ever be a time when I'll be able to forget about it. It was a day when I thought I would be able to enjoy myself on this beautiful night in this beautiful place. I can't escape the reason why I'm here. I never felt so at peace in my life. In this place, which is like nowhere else I've ever been. It's hard to now for me to keep thinking of the unthinkable. That I may just have been sent here to die. These past few days here have been some of my best life. The first time in a long time that I've ever felt truly alive. But in the end, I'm someone who finds himself reminded every time he climbs too many stairs or throws a ball too hard that he could die at any second. I've always felt limited by that. I'm so depressed by that and angry as well. In the end, I care about my life and I enjoy it, but now it's more transient than ever before. I wonder what it is that will finally do me in. It could be anything. If I'm in this weak and pathetic, a bad fall, a punch to the chest, a stray baseball. I've now lost my will to keep playing this game. I keep playing anyway. Suddenly, I feel a split second sensation of pain in my chest. It comes and goes instantaneously, but enough to make me stumble just a bit. Shizune jumps back, startled. She comes closer, staring at me with concern. Misha puts her hand on my shoulder. Hey, He-Chan! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't feel real too good right now. I think I'm sick. I don't think I can go on. Misha frowns. Don't strain yourself! If you're that sick, you'll make yourself sicker! Look, the festival is just getting started, and we've been playing games for a while. We can take a little break if you're tired. Yeah, she chan I'm feeling a little tired, too, and I think we're all a little worn out. Running all over the school, he chan I nod. They don't seem to notice anything unusual. That's good. Walk through the sea of people, with Misha cheerfully pointing out the faces of everyone she knows. Zune holds the stuffed cat in her arms, cradling it absentmindedly. It seems like they're having fun. Suddenly... Even my poor health, we all had to stop. He chan we're both feeling kinda hungry. How about you? I'm not as hungry as I could be, but I do want something to eat. That's good enough, He chan So what should we get to eat? 
It doesn't really matter to me. Ah, how about sandwiches then? Everyone needs something to drink too. We shall get everything. What? Susanna looked at me and smiled. I feel like she might be trying to trip me up with a joke. I laughed. Chan, it's getting kind of crowded, so we might not be able to eat here. It's getting kind of loud, too. Maybe we should go eat up on the roof. That's fine with me. It might be a nice view, and there could be a little breeze. Okay, then. I guess I should get the food and drinks now. I'll see you two then. Alrighty, then. Let's head up there. Misha gives a clumsy wave and then runs off. Maybe I didn't notice how the paper lantern was illuminated in the dark of night, but I'm not able to see it. It's really an amazing sight. Fireflies float overhead, the soft glow making it look as if it's snowing white from the night sky. This type of thing would be impossible to see in the city. Then I take up my sleeve impatiently and crosses her arms, finding this to show displeasure at me getting distracted. I'm sorry, things aren't pretty. You know, I don't know how to read sign language. Come to think of it, isn't it kind of stupid for me to have said that to a deaf person? She wouldn't have heard it. Uh, and you could just shrugged. I shrugged, hoping to show that I don't understand. Then she shakes her head and dismisses it with a wave of her hand. Maybe I should get around to asking Misha for some lessons on sign language. Sign language is such a useful skill. I'm gonna actually pick it up. Climbing up onto the roof, I find myself in awe again at the sheer size of this school. The grass are like so expanse, I can't believe I hadn't realized it before. As I walk across the roof, trailing behind Shizune, I can't help but be taken in by the stars shining in the sky. Shizune I sit down on a bench. She seems like she's in a good mood as she smiles softly while the breeze blows through her hair. We look down at the festival, which looks like a sea of glowing amber lanterns and waving paper fans teeming with people. Some of them festively dressed in yukatas. In fact, most of the girls seem to be wearing yukata. I wonder why Shizune and Misha didn't dress up today. Because, uh, Foley Studio didn't want to give them one. The two of them would look nice in yukata. I briefly think about what types they would wear. Shizune would likely go with something more traditional. However, Misha is a bit harder to play. Misha arrives, panting as she runs to us, trying to keep the food in her arms from falling. Setting everything on the ground, she lets herself drop backwards. <laughs> that took a while! Come on, you two didn't tell me what you wanted, so I got some rice punch and some sandwiches and some candy too! A little bit of everything! That's great! Let's begin! Misha takes a bite of a small triangular sandwich. So, Hee-chan, what do you think of the festival? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. The stars are nice tonight. This couldn't have been a more perfect day. The sound of people talking below us in the faint music alongside the chirping of crickets in the distance. I take a sip from the can of punch and look over at Misha. She looks as if she's sleeping comfortably with her back stretched out and a half full can of apple juice balanced on her stomach. She's in sits with her legs drawn close to her, walking back and forth slowly like an impatient child as she stares up at the sky. She just looks so cute. I look around and can see many students holding hands with their girlfriends or their boyfriends. They're not too much far from what's on this roof. There are couples gazing up at the stars or down at the lights of the festival, holding each other's hands. A part of me wants that. Hey, I should do that, Misha. I wonder if maybe I should ask one of them out someday. I wonder if it would be worth the risk. The golden hands moving across the face of a delicate watch on Shizune's wrist catch my eye. I see that it's getting kind of late, but the festivities are still going strong. Shizune is still holding the stuffed cat I won by the paw. She noticed me looking at it. Offhandedly, she offers it to me. I smile wanting to ask her what I would do with it, but she wouldn't be able to understand me. 
I shake my hand and try my best to tell her to keep it. Hope she'll understand. As I look out towards the school, I can see before me so many people. All of us are so happy and cheerful. Watching them makes me feel content. This really was something. <laughs> Today was worth it. But I still can't shake the feeling of guilt and melancholy from all they are. They keep hanging on to me and I can't let them go. She's really saying something to me and I can't understand her. No matter what I say, she won't be able to hear me. I can't understand you, Shizune. Well, oh, whatever. I wonder if we both could have figured ourselves out for some this. Anyway, I'm sorry for not being able to understand. You know, I'm almost, almost glad that you tried to coerce me into coming here. If I attempt to date you, though, I might have to think about more about that side of you. No, actually, I'm glad. That was nice. It'd be cute if you smiled more. You have a nice smile. Frustrated, she stands up, her arms behind her back, looking authoritative and confident against the backdrop of stars. Suddenly, she throws her hands towards the open sky, seeming to hold it between her hands. That's hilarious! <laughs> it's as if she's telling me to look at everything in front of me. The school bays with the festival glow and light up with the colorful yukata, the roof illuminated by fireflies. The sky is so vast that it imposes a feeling of awe onto you. What does she want? This only dawns on me as time. This beautiful scene before me is proof that there are things wonderful enough that spoiling them with a bad mood would be unforgivable. I can feel the weight of Shizune's personality pressing that point further. Thanks, I guess. I look away, but then Shizune grabs my sh me by my shoulder, her watch brushing up against my cheek. With her left hand, she points up at the sky. Oh! Fireworks. With faint pops, fireworks begin to go off in the sky, each one spreading a shower of bright colors that slowly fade into the dark. I can't even recall the last time I saw fireworks at all, much less a display this large. Not to mention, it seems like they're being launched from the school. It's almost impossible to believe. The lights in the sky mingle with the second salvo from the town below. And they seem timid to complement each other like the two parts of a duet. They continue for maybe 15 more minutes, and then stop. Shizune realizes her hand is still on my shoulder, and withdraws it carefully, looking a little uncomfortable. Regaining her composure, she grins with her hands on her hips and her chest thrust out in front of her. It's in these moments that she seems more like a regular teenage girl, energetic, happy, and carefree. I eat th uh, thoughtfully with Shizune, the two of us looking out at the gradually thinning crowd below in silence. She sits leaning forward slightly, her chin resting softly on her hand, and a contented look on her face with a hint of wistfulness. All the while, still gently holding on to the stuffed cat's paw. I start feeling tired and I tell her that I'll see her Misha tomorrow, even with realizing that she can't heal me, and then she started walking back to the dorms. I feel warm and alive, even in this chilly night air. The image of Shizune standing forcefully before the stars themselves, denying myself pity, does not leave my mind easily. If, if only it takes a moment for there to be love, I think I may be falling in love with her. Just a little bit.
us off for this time. This is Reese Like the Drug Gamer. Hope you enjoyed the series so far. And I hope to see all you guys again in Act 2. See you guys then.